Okay, so this is a bazaar where uh, you can buy stuff. Okay, where is that? Okay, so the the one shopkeep that looks uh, strikingly familiar mm -hmm. is oh, not this guy. I was gonna say, I, nope. That guy has teeny tiny oh, hands and a gigantic face. What is that? My eyes behold. Oh, young man, what's calamitous? 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 Yeah. Uh, what visions appear before me? You know what? He, with his big head and tiny face, he reminds me of Pops from regular show. I think so. So he kind of sounds like, Oh, young man! What calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes will see a hazardous thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. He does it. <laughs> Pops does have a pure and innocent voice. Terrifying. Look at those eyes. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply to my eyes and come closer. Nope. Good show, Johnny. Good show. Okay, uh, this guy. Who does he look like? Okay, just look at that face. Okay. Do you want me to spell it out for you? Yeah. The the happy mask salesman. Holy crap! I think you're right. What the hell? I mean, despite the hair color and like his his stance, like how he's standing with his hands. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And he, like he would always have his hands together. So the heavy mask salesman is like freaking ancient then? Um, or, or, or this is like an ancestor of the oh, other I guy. See it. I don't know. Aha! Wait, his name is Rupin, apparently. Ha! Uh. Customer! Hello there, friend! My shop carries the finest products you will find anywhere. Please take a moment for your senses to save the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. How do I buy? <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, allow me to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of the, any of my wares and press A to examine its beauty. Take your time and shop to your heart's delight. It's always free to look, my friend. And there's no pressure to buy, no pressure at all. <laughs> huh. How about these nuts? <laughs> my friend, you don't appear to have a slingshot. I simply couldn't sell you these in good conscience if you do not have a slingshot. Perhaps I can interest you in some of my other wares. Oh. Okay, uh, bombs? Deku seeds? Uh, arrows? Bombs? You want it? <laughs> it's yours, yours my, my friend. friend. <laughs> as long as you have enough rupees. <laughs> and you thought oh, I would only do it in Twilight Princess. No, no. It's followed in here. Ah, oh, very sorry, but I can't sell you those unless you have a bomb bag. Again, my apologies. Uh, okay. Ah, that's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easy. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It'll be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite all right, friend. I have quite a few other fine items to stock, so do take your time and look around. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to show that that, like, I, he I, yeah. will look uh, displeased. Oh, see, and when I walk away, it's just... He's all sad. That's right, bitch. Walk away. Go sell your... Go... Oh, wait. Go. Wait. Hold on. He's like... He's trying to get a good look at his face. Can you, uh... Can you go over and look at the, uh... Those two people making potions? Huh? Oh, yes! Okay. Question. Hmm. Oh, never mind. She does have a name. I was gonna say, like, okay. So the two witch sisters... Uh, Twin Rova... They both sell potions or whatever Majora's Mask. Oh, are you saying that these are like their yeah, ancestors? Yeah, or that like maybe some, or maybe them themselves, but because they're like freaking ancient. They're like how old well, is... Well, they're also, uh, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Gerudos? Gerudos? Yeah, yeah. but the, are they Gerudos? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're uh, Gandorf's surrogate mother. They're like two, 200 something years old or something like that. Yeah. Like... Huh, because one of them tries to lie about And plus, like, uh, right. there aren't very many male Gerudos, as... That's right. Uh, they're all female. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess hey, I'm... you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. 
Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least? Hmm? Let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you need my potions. <laughs> By the Cauldron Fall. Oh, so yeah. don't try to slink away without stocking up. Potion seller. I am going into battle, and I need one of your strongest potions. You can't handle my potions. <laughs> <laughs> you still have, you've never seen that. Uh -oh. The potion seller. No. It's on YouTube. Okay, all right. okay you know what? We're all pausing right. this. We're pausing this right okay, now. Pause the episode. Okay. M might as well Cue. have a sip because uh, my hands are getting sweaty. I think the AC's turned off down here. Oh, it is. This one? Uh, yep, the one with 8.7 million views. Crank the volume up. I'll probably cut this out. I'm going into battle. <laughs> so he's like messed with the face cam yeah. with the warp effects. My potions are too strong for you, <laughs> Potion seller. I tell you I'm going into battle. And I want only your strongest potion. You can't handle my potions. They're too strong for you. Potion seller, listen to me. I want to be your strongest potions. My potions would kill you, traveler. You cannot handle my potions. Potion Who does eyes? Enough of these games. I'm going into battle. And I need your strongest potions. My strongest potions will kill you, Traveler. You can't handle my strongest potions. You better go to a cellar that sells weaker potions. Potion seller. I'm telling you right now. I'm going into battle. And I need only your strongest potions. You don't know what you ask, Traveler. My strongest potions will kill a dragon. Let alone a man. You need a cellar. That sells weaker potions because my potions are too strong. <laughs> potion seller, <laughs> I'm telling you, I need your strongest potions. I'm going into battle. I'm going to battle, and I need your strongest potions. You can't handle my strongest potions. No one can. My strongest potions are fit for a beast, let alone a man. Oh my god. Potion seller, what do I have to tell you to get your potions? Why won't you trust me with your strongest potions, potion seller? I need them if I have to be successful in the battle. I can't give you my strongest potions <laughs> because my strongest potions are only for the strongest beings and you are of the weakest. Well, then that's it, potion seller. I'll go elsewhere. I'll go elsewhere for my potions. That's what you'd better do. I'll go elsewhere for my potions and I'll never come back. Good. You're not welcome here. My potions are only for the strongest and you're clearly not of the strongest. You're clearly the weakest. You've had your say, potion seller, but I'll have mine. You're a rascal. You're a rascal with no respect for knights. No respect for anything, except your potions. Why respect knights, when my potions can do anything that you can? That's funny. Oh my god. Oh, are you happy that you saw that now? I'm very happy. I, I'm going to send now I gotta send it to Barbara. If we get kicked out of it. Oh yeah, uh, yeah send that to her. Uh, in case if... You, uh, uncultured, uh, lovely people haven't ever seen that. Uh, it is called The Potion Seller. It's, uh, the one with millions of views. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh dear! I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing, it's just my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Okay, I got an empty bottle. You can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. 
But if you ever uh, get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. So, what would you like to buy? Um, what have you got? Oh, right. who are Tell you? Tell me what you've got. Oh, hello. Welcome to my humble... Oh, no, that's a dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's too. not the potion sisters. Like, that's uh, that's her husband <gasps> and baby. Oh, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I, um... Infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. That's nothing really, just something I like to do. Well, uh, do you have any potions you would like me to infuse? Nah. I don't have any, a lot of ingredients. I see, no bother to me. Hope to see you again someday. Alright, so what have we got here? That is a guardian potion. This stuff makes you feel invisible. It's a potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit of time. If you find yourself facing an opponent who's a little out of your league, this is a potion for you. This kind of potion doesn't come cheap, though. It's 200 Holy rupees. shit. And no thanks. You don't want it, dear? I know some of my potions might taste a bit strange, but there's no denying it that they do what they advertise. This mysterious elixir is known as a revitaliz revitalizing potion. Simply pour it on a broken shield, and in moments, the shield will be good as new. It's amazing. Not only that, but this multi-purpose mixture will even restore four hearts. How about, uh... Some to take on your travels is only 30 rupees. Uh, I, I might buy it, but I want to browse a little more. Okay. Uh, blue. What does this do? Magic power. So down, dear. That potion is not quite ready for public consumption yet, but I promise I'll have it out soon. In the meantime, I've got plenty of other great potions for you to try. I want to have a look. Okay. Is this red one ready? That's a vat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it will replenish eight hearts. Oh, okay. Why don't you pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 rupees. How about... Okay. Um... Hmm, I don't need window shoppers here, dear. I'm, I'm just... I, I just want to know what they do. It's magic power. This wonderful potion completely oh. stops your stamina gauge from being depleted for a little while. That'd be handy, but... However, I haven't quite perfected the formula, so you have to wait until it's ready. Please feel free to take a look. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm just going to buy the red potion. Nice. Just... Yeah, and also, like, I don't remember, like, breaking my shields in the past. Like, nope. I think I've been pretty good with them. I gotcha. Maybe. I might be wrong. So I'm not a shield guy. I'd rather just dodge. For the most part. Well, I think in some cases you will have to use your shield. Oh, yeah, for sure. For certain enemies. Thank you, sweetie. If you want to potion power it up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. Okay. Um... All right, so I can't buy that stuff yet. Um, what's over here? Next dash of pepper, delicious, another culinary delight, ready to be savored and enjoyed. Uh, is there... No, oh, this is just where people chill out. How do you find thing to do when you're tired? Get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere there's a bed, you know? Wait, his name is Gru? Like, Crew. No, like, real G. It looks like... Wait. Oh, no, it's crew. crew. I, I thought it was, like, a G there. Like, is that Gruce's grandpa? Probably. He looks like a dick. Just kidding. It's kind of there's a different place after the sun goes down. It's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until nightfall. There's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at nights. Uh, that means two things. So you're on your way to becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations. But I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press the right button on the left right gun if you need the pointer or two. Uh, and then there's... wait, there's one more shop. Or two more shops. Oh, yeah. Hey! Welcome to the scrap shop! That could use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what would it be? Upgrade gear? <laughs> you got it! These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Uh, huh. Really? Okay, so I need, like, more materials. Okay. To pay for it. Okay. So, not today, but good to know. Hold on now, you changed your mind? Well, and all that... Eh, that's fine. Come see me whenever you change it back, little buddy. And then we got a very special treasure chest over here. Uh -huh. Master Link. This treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times, left by the goddess for her chosen hero. However, I like any information on how it can be opened at this time. So, like, really, you could just go up to it and 
you're not able to open it. Oh, that's so nice. there's something that you gotta do before uh, you can open it. Uh, really, other than, all we just bought was like a red potion, and that's it. I think mm -hmm. we're good to go. Sweet. You know, like we could like s stay around town and like talk to everybody mm -hmm. in Skyloft, but I think uh, people watching this are like, "Hey, play the game." <laughs> you know. You got it. So. Unless if there's uh, some extras that I should go check out, uh, why don't you leave a comment down below and may as well subscribe and ring the bell so you can see when our stuff is coming out. Certainly subscribe. Okay, uh, definitely want to save. And like, and share. Oh, share, definitely. And ring a bell. Ding, ding. Oh, okay, finally we can go down to what this green beacon looks really close, but it's actually far away. Uh, actually, I do want to climb up here really quick. Then I can run up the ladder. Don't want to talk to you. Want to get a move on. <laughs> what, Link? Oh, that's cool. Can you jump off of that platform? Uh, I think I can try. Wait, wait. Is there like a... Oh, I think this platform is uh, special for later in the game. Okay. Okay, I'm running off. All right, fly right down. What is it in uh, in uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok? Fly through the devil's anus. And there's gonna be more than one anus. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> that, rather unfortunate. But maybe you don't have to poop. Maybe you don't have to push as hard when you poop. Like it's like what one kind of those, toilet uh, would you have to build for multiple assholes? Honestly, as far as I can tell, Plato's figured it out. You know how you like push the thing and like. The, you make this the Play-Doh spaghetti. That's what I'd imagine <laughs> it would it would ha would happen if you had multiple assholes, just like that. Look at that. That's pretty. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, still falling. Still falling. Still falling. Woo. <laughs> what if you just like didn't hit the? I would have died. Just insta death. Yeah. <clears throat> Master, please make sure to use your seal cloth when descending from high elevations. Falling, failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the seal cloth for you this time. What? What do you mean? You? I I thought I pushed it. Mm -hmm. I took the liberty of deploying the seal cloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing ZR before landing. I thought I did press it. I was, I was trying to do it at the last minute. Yeah. Master Link... Oh, wait. She's, like, talking... Oh, this is a fable surface that has long... Oh, she's talking on her own, I think. Is she? What? Uh, by my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as a sacred ground. Did I hit a button that just automatically, like, makes people talk? I haven't seen anything. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to. But I'm down here at the the seal grounds. Definitely not an important location of the game. Please proceed with caution, master. All right, is there a save? Yes, there is a save here. Wait, can I not? Huh, hold on. Skyward strike it, maybe? Okay, nope, that's a nope. Okay, here you go. Uh, horizontals. Oh, wait, nope. Okay, I thought I was supposed to, like, slash it in the mouth or something. Me too. Wait. Oh, yeah. I... Okay, yeah, I, nice. okay, I, I could. I could do that. I just have to time it right. No. Nice. Uh, okay, there's a log up there. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Oh, wait, I guess Fee wants to talk to me. Okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just humor Fee right now. Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum. Or Fi. Master, I have information for you. I have the ability to offer information on items and creatures you target with CL. While targeting something with CL, press down and I'll be with all the information I know on the subject. Yay! Okay, cool. Um... Target lock, Deku Baba. This violent plan is... 
widespread in wooded areas, it will attempt to bite anything that approaches it. Though it is covered in a tougher outer husk, the inside of its mouth is soft. I have confirmed the existence of the two varieties. Those that open their mouths vertically and those that open their mouths horizontally. You have defeated okay. two of this enemy type. I am unable to analyze your battle performance rating with this opponent due to insufficient data. So I think I can also like examine other NPCs by doing so. And I can also do this! Oh shit. Oh, I thought it cut it in half. Nah. That's a vertical strike one. Oh, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Cool. I'll just hop on down here. Oh, what's this? A cutscene that I obviously have never seen before. No, I've seen it before when I first played the game. Holy shit. That door is glowing. Oh, look at this pit. It's a pretty neat pit. That is the devil's anus. Obviously. Oh, that's it, an anus. It just diarrhea all over you. I'm feeling like HD rumble. <laughs> there it is. Two seconds. Ooh. Oh, headache. Yeah, a nasty headache. Headache. Better take some ibuprofen. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna one shot this guy. Just watch. Uh. Well, that was really loud for an echoed gasp. Since uh, our TV audio is like pretty low. All right, so what do I have to go? Check it out, or do I have to look at this weird door behind me? Probably the weird door behind me. I guess I'll have a look at this. Nope! Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Okay, so I do have to go down. Okay, wait, so maybe the maybe uh the problem with earlier was that like I just tapped ZR uh -huh. button and just let it go. It? Yeah. Okay. I gotta remember that. Yeah, devil's is. It's plugged. Just kidding. <laughs> Young one, child of destiny descended from the sky. I don't know who this is. Raise the sword of the, the goddess skyward. Take so aim skyward, at sir. the evil aura and unleash its power. Sorry, my teleprompter is like very buggy today. <laughs> Oh, wait, I gotta get a little closer. Oh, I was gonna say, how many Oh, it's even got, like, the three emblems. That's pretty sick. Uh, on the side. Only seeing one of them on the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well. Okay. This pit's gonna build Cosby, you Wait. Tanner. Wait. No? No. Okay, never mind. I thought something was going to happen. Master Link, I am sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sail sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Yes, yeah, tell me how to douse for a better game. Yeah. No. Hey man, there was no. It's always my interest in playing with you. Oh shit! Burn! Burn! That's also... No, not bird, it's burn. Oh, I thought you said bird. I was no, like, bird! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was another thing from uh, Ecoraptor's sequelitis. Maybe I should just douse for a better game! He did this low. So is my interest in playing you again. Oh, shit! <laughs> burn! Burn! Sorry, I, I just really wanted to get it out. Plus... I really hate you. <laughs> As you wish, Master. 
Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of your sword. The nearer, the, near, <clears throat> the nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. The response manifests itself through vibrating and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Okay, so dows. Oh, gotta hold it down. Alright, so where's Zelda? Up, oh, okay, somewhere hmm? in that direction. Right there. Okay, cool. Um alright, nothing unusual here. I guess that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna take up these currents just to easily get back up. And then, ooh, wait, what's this little thing up here? Oh. Alas. Um. It's gotta be for something. What the fuck? Maybe something specific later. Whee! I am, whoa! Okay. Uh, I guess I'm running around. Oh, wait. No, I could just uh, take this stream of air. And that should take me right up here. Hey. That's what I want. Okay, I guess I'll go where the Sheikah are, because that's cool. a Sheik emblem, I'm assuming. Oh, look, that save statue looks like you can actually save at it. Yeah. Okay, we got a sealed temple. Save that shit? Yes, I would like to save. Of course, of course. You know what I haven't done yet? Hmm. Break some pots. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a, there are bugs. Can I... Yeah, we try no, it. I think I need a net no. for, for that. Okay, got some cash. Already more than halfway full, which I guess is fine. Who's this dude sitting in a teepee? Uh, this is a lady, actually. Or is that like a hat? Is it a tent? Is it a hat tent? Or what is it? Um, it's a uh, hand. Hand? Yeah. Hear it? Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? What is your quest? <laughs> to seek the Holy Grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. No, orange. Uh, ah! <laughs> uh, yes, I, I mean, I have not seen that movie for a long, long ass time. It's classic. Link. Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. I gotta remind you that tutorial. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are part. Link. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. The girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. 
She set out for Fan Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me a map. Ah, uh, the expo on your map marks the path that leads you to the Fan Forest. You'll be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and the map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. Hmm. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Okay, so like uh, markers. Nice. Point at the X and press A to place the beacon. Ooh. Doink. Boop. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you uh, no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go oh, now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Where's the chest? I didn't see any chests. Me either. Are you ready? Um, pff, oh, no, pff, <clears throat> no. You are ready. Shit. It's my bad. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. And just out of pure curiosity... Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Ooh, it's a crystal. Oh, wait. No. Just... It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big, big piece of amber. Or something that looks like amber. It's a giant orange ruby. Oh, oh sorry about that. Uh, but where's the chip? Oh, here it is. There might be one on the other side, too. You got some revitalizing potion. Oh, wait, so is this a second bottle? I think so. Oh! Nice, two bottles already. Okay, so this is, um... What does it do? Oh, no, it, uh, it's... Restores your shield. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought that was in pot. Ooh, a fairy. I'm gonna kill it. You found a fairy. This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. Dang. So, that's uh, good to know. Um, I think I'll just go out this door then. And maybe I'll see the, the beacon that I placed on my map. The bleakin. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's that, uh, transparent blue line. Oh, that tall blue line right there. Mm-hmm. So that's good to know. All right. Whoa, I'm gonna go away. Scream! All right, time for some real enemies now. Oh, you see how like um, they're kind of blocking. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, come on! Ow! Fuck. Okay. Well, shame and on me. He's dead. Whew! Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. So that's you're uh, welcome, bud. The, the only Goron you will ever see in this game. Really? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Uh, I guess who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you a big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Okay. Alright. You know, you could just tell me rather than take a couple steps. Kind of like with Rick and Morty on... Rick and Morty and Elon Tusk. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. All right. Your situation sounds pretty serious. Uh, follow me over here. All right. What's the situation? Uh, you know, what was the point of that? We, we literally just took a couple steps. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you know, you, you just got to wait some time, uh, Elon. <laughs> uh, hey, bud. I am Gorko the Goron. 
I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, uh, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. Sorry, my voice is just kind of running low right now. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but, I, but I've heard one believe in it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Uh, yeah. Sure does. Ah, oh, sounds like a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your fucking mind away. Blow your fucking mind. Also, like, uh, on a different sequelitis video that Aaron does, he's talking about Mega Man. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, when he's uh, saying something along the lines of, like, okay, so I'm just gonna pretend like I don't know how to play Mega Man and uh, find out how to play this game because it's gonna blow your fucking mind. <laughs> So, get this. People actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Birds. Uh, up there, everyone rever reveres the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, the civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, and endless springs of this gold water piece of river through the place. One sip of that stuff, and you live forever. Eh, it's eh, not yeah, quite. It, that's not quite how it works. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all diseases. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh, the weather, but not too hot, not too cold, not a chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure. With the with that glare on uh, face. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Good to hear, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. My voice is just getting great now. Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. <sighs> Whoop. Zoop. Whoa! Ooh, that's a cool color. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? A statue reacted uh, the moment you got near to it. But how crazy is that? Uh, crazy. Okay, so I'll save right now. <sighs> Give my voice a break. Goro! What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy big. I have to know. Uh, okay, I'll let you in on secret. You're just made out of ones and zeros. This is a video game. This is a video game played by two dudes in a basement somewhere. Oh, can I pick this up? No, I can't. All right. Um. So let me pull out my map. Uh, really quick. I'm just gonna turn around. Uh, behind me and go up this way. Okay. I'm gonna go through here. We'll be back out in the sacred grounds. Push this log down. Shortcut. Yeah. No. Nice. And then uh, there's this. Oh wait, I gotta fight these fuckers again. Okay. Ooh, that was close that time. Oh wait. Oh, they're just all activated now. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. All right. Th just thought I'd have to actually uh, activate them all one at a time. Right. Got gotcha. you. Okay, so now we, I don't know when we actually started the game, but now we can actually start the game. All right, see ya. Uh, oh, okay, five, what is it? It better be good. Master, now that you have accessed the stone statue, you can re return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, 
the only amiibo figure for this game. Uh, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Nice. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to know that, but... That amiibo sounds like it'd be like really worth something.